Can you see your best? I'm just fucking. I'm just gonna film anyway. Just a massive screwdriver. Use the screwdriver to pull out the fucking annoying piece of thing. <laughs> this is Dave struggling. Yeah. This is what he looks like when he's struggling. <laughs> oh shit! I talk. I spoke far too soon. So you removed the strap, mate. That's too big. And you want to get a smaller screwdriver? Something like that would be perfect. You're just pulling underneath. This is the fingers of a master on picker. He makes it easy for himself because he's working on elasticated bits. So even if he shreds it a little bit, he's not really in trouble. Is this your second rodeo, bro? I've done one before. Yeah, well, that'd make it second. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not your first then, certainly. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Thank you. You reckon you could, you know, Make do it for a living? Yeah, you just kind of make Ooh. something out of it actually, or know, just more of a hobby. <laughs> what about it? You just love them staples, don't you? Yeah, I just, just the unpicking side of things. I don't want to recover them, I just want to unpick seats for a living. <laughs> it's just so much fun. And so once you've got them set half unpicked, do you pull them out with a Yeah, you don't, don't pull them out with, oh, sorry, a, with a pliers. Or... You can if you want, but it just takes too long. Then you get... Tight ah, pins. yes. And then you go along. Uh, so you're like leveraging it off of its... Yeah, you just pull off them Because they're only stuck in by one. Ah, uh, right, one okay. One of the staples now. It's a good thing to put them in your hand because if you're gonna then go and fit the cover, you don't really want your bench full of staples, but just make sure you brush them all off before you put the cover on. Or it should be a staple through the cover. Love it. Did you learn that from your first rodeo? Yeah, I learned a lot from just doing one bike seat. <laughs> you must have fucked up a lot of stuff, Dave. Yeah. Was it a redo or a thousand redos? Yeah. Or? I, I, I've only done one bike seat, but I did a thousand times. Yeah, I've replicated that same diamond seat motherfucking thing. <laughs> the, the pan is just perforated with staple. <laughs> oh, we're getting pretty bloody close, mate. So you're at three minutes in terms of the un unpicking. So you're not, you're not, you know. Fucking spiders, that's for sure. Not on camera. Yeah, are you getting a bit of performance anxiety? This is the uh, stock trim. And this bad boy is the new girl. If that makes any sense this in an engendered way. <laughs> so he's pulled it onto the front. He's curled it over the rear. He doesn't have magic fingers. Although he has played many, many years of bass guitar. He's racked up millions of plays on Spotify. Okay. This is him being a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> this is me making money because the, uh, the Spotify didn't. The Spotify didn't make him any money. So now he makes awesome trim so essentially he's just rolled it around started from the front got it on the back and then rolled the sides around and you basically follow that exact same process for the stapling don't you yeah so what i'm just trying to find is something to put hello something to put on my bench you don't need to do this if your table's not covered in staples? Yeah, but mine's just got glue and who knows what's in the glue and all that kind of stuff. So it's a good idea if you, if you don't have a nice clean bench just to put something down on it because we're going to be flipping it over. Nice. And I'll get to my staple gun. I'll be back. What am I doing?
How's my Nina? Hop. Oh, sorry. What do you reckon? You're pretty happy with this product? He's five minutes in. So, uh, oh shit, we're, we're, we're gunning up. Six mil staples. Nice. Mine's pretty good. Did you turn your air compressor on this morning? I did. Oh. See, this is a this is a organized, well prepared man. I'm ready. Make sure it's in the center. You don't want to start stapling it if it's off the center. You can tell because there's a quite an obvious center on this pan. Beautiful. First one. Oh, this staple gun doesn't shoot all the time for some reason. That was just a single one, and now you're folding that rear around, getting it. Yeah. Nice so and... what what you want to do is. It's hard to explain, but the the allowance or the the, the seam underneath mm -hmm. needs to be flicked a certain way. Mm -hmm. At the moment, you can see it's folding back on the top layer here. Mm -hmm. On this one, you can see it's folding out on the on the border. You want it to fold up on this top layer. So you want to go around. You don't have to sit it all in there uh, from the start and get it all looking nice and neat. You can kind of do it as you go. But I just did the top section then, so that when I put that staple in, it kind of cements that that seam being folded. folded so, in so then you'll still fold a little bit around the sides yeah, later on. Yeah, as but, you go. But you're yep, just getting yep. that nice. If okay. you have it out like that, there's no no issue with having it out like that. It's just sometimes on this bike seat, it's probably it's actually not too bad. But uh, for two reasons, it looks a little bit untidy, and it's better to always have that rolling on top for for water. The, for water so the, protection yeah, yeah so okay. the water doesn't just go straight in that seam but nice. they're much of a muchness really it's just it's it's a, a looks kind of thing and i prefer it sitting like that well you've done this once before so we'll take your on advice. that one on that one bike seat i prefer to like that. <laughs> nice same thing make sure it's in the middle is it as easy to see where the middle is on the front oh, well yeah, nice. not really um but because this cover has a diamond, you can kind of line it yeah, up. Yeah, beautiful. That will be in the middle. But yep. if you have the, the one. one with the horizontal, um, not not really. But um, it's not super crucial because you can always take that out. If you find later that you need to shuffle this around a bit, a little bit, you can you can take that out and redo it. Yeah, right. Anything that you put in now is basically just to make it easier to hold it on there, so that you can go around the seat and and. Um, push and pull bits of vinyl so that it sits where you want it to. Yeah, nice. And so then you're folding over that elasticated part? Well, then I was just doing the rest of that seam. Ah, uh, yes. So you just want to basically go front, back, and then look for the place that's sitting the worst. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of sitting over as it is. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't go and, and you know tackle that bit next. I'm gonna go here because it's not sitting nicely here. Sure. And then you just keep keep using that system and just go, what's the next bit that doesn't fit properly? And you will go to that section. But whatever you do, always make sure you do the opposite thing of what you've just done. Right, so you're always, basically you're keeping it aligned. Yeah, always going from one side to the other so that you're not working one side too much and then you go and do the other side and you've realized realize, yeah. you've, al you've already Taken uh, too anchored much all of this meat. bit down. And another good thing is all of all of these seats will be completely symmetrical. So if if you see a, a spot on the pan where the, where the elastic ends like that in the, in the little mm -hmm. triangle section there, just try and replicate that on the other side because that'll mean you've got a nice even pull on the cover. Nice. So, so far we've got one in the rear and three in the front now? Yes, three in the front. And so then, same thing. You just I'm just gonna look at this, go, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. That's the next worst bit. So I'm gonna tackle this corner. Same thing. Pull it around. Just until it's tight, you don't want to go swinging off. As I said, if you find out that you didn't pull it tight enough on the, when you go and do the next side, you can always... You can just take that one out? Yeah, always take it out and, and redo it. 
And that's pretty much it. It's looking pretty good as it is. Obviously, all of this needs to be stapled down, but there's no real working of the cover that needs to be done anymore. It's just going along. Tidying up the, like yeah, that, that's all as, of the strength. Yeah, as long as we double check that, that that's a, a, a similar distance pulled over to that side. Same with up here. Then it's just a, a matter of you can pick wherever you want to go then. And you just go around? Yeah. You just, don't sort of symmetrically you don't, it, you, you don't know. really have to once it's at once it's at this point, once it's looking good. Because I can only I can only get to the next staple. Mm. It's not like I can I can yeah, gather yeah, that yeah. whole section so that it's um uneven. And so you're sort of trying to get a fairly even amount of meat yeah, underneath it's, or it's like of the of the brown sort of yeah yeah so you want to you don't want to get too um oh do you mean the the vinyl hanging over the side yeah 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 try and try and get the uh an even kind of distribution of the of the vinyl so that it's a so that it kind of forms a line mm -hmm. but um it basically just pull it and when it runs out of stretch that's where you need to go mm -hmm. you don't want it to be too tight but you don't want it to be too loose and in terms of neatness underneath, that's if you know if it's your bike, it's completely up to you. You can sit there and measure out your staple distance, and if you want to. But the amount of times the seat comes off a bike is not that often. Well, the amount of times people look at it. Yeah. I'm just making sure that that stitch is folded up just because that's how I've started doing it. Mm -hmm. I've folded that, that allowance so that it's sitting up. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to continue that trend. Doesn't matter if yours goes down or up. As I said, it's the bottom of the bike seat. No one's going to analyze it too much. Now with that first upholstery job that you did, did mm. you put a staple through your thumb or finger? I've never done that. And how many staples do you reckon you've put through oh, on that one job? Jeez. I don't even... I Couldn't even comprehend I, the, no. the amount of staples you've done? No. It's a big job. It was a big job. It was a really long bike seat. 16 people could have ridden that bike. No, I never put a staple through my finger. I have put uh, the screwdriver into my hand when, oh, yeah. when, when I'm picking like heaps so that's actually that's, that's a screwdriver and a screwdriver <laughs> yeah that's actually a good point to make when you if i was unpicking this when you are unpicking it make sure your hands out here because if this slips it's going to go up here mm. you want to put your hand there but don't it's it's the most natural to, to hold directly opposite mm. to where you're putting pressure, mm -hmm. but don't do it. And hold then would it. you also recommend putting a towel or something over the other side in case you do if, flick out? Well, generally taking the old cover off, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really matter if you go and start Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but if you are, if you do care about the pan and, and having scratch marks in mm -hmm. it, then, then for sure do that. Because you will most likely slip when you're trying to take staples out. If you haven't done one bike seat before. Yeah, sure. I still do it. It's only a second time, man. It's all good. Yeah. I'm You'll still, get there. I'm just learning. <laughs> so just a little mild shout out. If you do feel like listening to the uh, the rumble from down under on the uh, on the Dave Webster bass fingers, you can also check out his band, The I and I, on Spotify uh, and join the throngs of people who've heard that banger on the uh on the radio please give me 0.008 seconds or whatever yeah. it is per play he uh he deserves it is all i'm saying he's uh he's having a crack at upholstery even after <laughs> only doing one bike and you got 30 seconds left by the way because i'm at 14 minutes and 30 seconds 14 minutes so is this a 15 minute video it's gonna be man it looks pretty fucking close i've done the front oh shit well you got 15 Help. seconds i don't want you to fuck it but I'm totally gonna get in the bucket. <laughs> Whoa, bam! Okay, that's 1455. 
and that's how you do a seat. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, cool.